Good morning, McDonald Elementary School. This is Mr. Ortiz with Lexia update for March 29th. Before we get started, I have to show you this footage. Check it out. incredible footage of second grade putting in the work. I told you last week they were on the come up and just like every classroom from K to four, they were coming for that top spot. Fifth grade, are your days as the number one class numbered? Well, let's go right to the standings. Let's check them out. All right, everyone here are the Lexia standings from McDonald Elementary School on March 29th. We just saw that footage of how second grade was really putting in the work. Well, let's see what the top three scores look like for this week. And we have third place, all right, 72%. Second place, 86%. First place, 89%. Look how close that is. A really close, fierce battle. Well, let's see what the top three grades, who are they? Who's in third place? First grade, incredible. Wow, we have a new grade in the top three. That means either fifth grade, second grade, or kindergarten, you're out of the top three. But that's still okay, because I'm sure you're doing a great job. I saw the stats, but incredible job by first grade leaping into the top three. And when I go over their stats, you're going to know why. Well, what does this mean? That means we have, we might have a shakeup in the top two spots. Well, let's see who's in second place with 86%. Who is it? Second grade, incredible. No question about it. Second grade, you have been putting in the, the work. You're making the climb. You're almost there. Last week, you were at 82%. This week, you're at 86%. And you're marching toward that first place spot. And I know with Mrs. Walk leading the charge and all your teachers in second grade, when I go over your stats, you're going to know why. Well, you've closed that gap. But in first place this week, who is it with 89%? Yeah. All I do is win, win, win. We have fifth grade again. Incredible. Wow. Another week on the top, at the top of the mountain of the Lexia standings. Fifth grade, you keep doing it. You heard it. All you do is win, 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 no matter what. Incredible. Now, I'd like to go over the top classrooms for, oh, before I get to that, I just want to say great job. The kinder, third and fourth grade, you keep logging those minutes, 750 students, again, logging minutes. And then 72% of students reaching their minute goal. That's two weeks in a row of 72% of students reaching their minute goal. Remember, we want to keep that number up above 50. It's over 70. Let's keep it going with that, boys and girls. Awesome. Now we're going to go over the top performing classrooms in each grade. Who do we have in kindergarten? We have Mrs. Garahan's classroom. Great job, Mrs. Garahan's boys and girls in A1, first grade. Mrs. Sutton's room, B6, second grade. Mrs. Ward's room, holding down the top spot in second grade, third grade. Ms. Morrison's classroom, fourth grade, a little bit of a shake up here. Mr. Chester's room, coming in on the top spot in fourth grade, and then in fifth grade. Mrs. Collin and Mrs. Meeks sharing the top spot for the top grade. And of course, the Lexia 100 Club, we have additions to the 100 Club. First off, Mrs. Garahan's room from kindergarten. All right, there should be a two there. You, that's your second week in a row. We'll have to get that corrected. And then from Mrs. Ward's room, third week in a row. It's your third week overall. Mrs. Meeks, third week with 100%. We also have, who else? Mrs. Conlin's room. There's a two because I forgot to mention them last week. Then we have Mrs. Sutton's room in first grade, 100%. Mrs. Quinn's third grade boys and girls, great job, 100%. And lastly, 
Mrs. Stevens classroom, fifth grade, 100%. I need to give a shout out. Fifth grade, second grade had three classrooms in the 90s, Mrs. Hussey, Mrs. Walk, Mrs. Haney. And then first grade had Mrs. Macy along with Mrs. Sutton in the 90s, incredible. I need to give a shout out to Mr. Chester's room. You're in the 90% club as well. Mrs. Pandit and Mrs. McGratton's, your reading groups also in the 90s for Lexia, incredible. But here are the Lexia 100 club. Great job, boys and girls. Keep up the great work. There you have it, boys and girls, the Lexia update for March 29th. Incredibly close, 3% separating fifth grade from second grade. We have a shortened week this week, boys and girls, we have today, we have Tuesday, we have Wednesday. Those are the only three days of school, but we're still tracking Lexia. So it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like when we come back next week to see which grade will be on top because what's going to happen is, yes, I know we have some days off Thursday, Friday, right, of this week. However, you can still log your Lexia minutes. So let's see which grades going to hold on to their top spots. Maybe we'll get some movement in terms of the top three, some classroom changes, but we're still counting it. We're still going to look at the data. Have a great learning to everyone. And remember the four Bs plus one, be kind, be safe, be ready, be your best. And the fifth B, be proud to be a McDonald Bulldog. Have a great learning to everyone. Adios. Bye.